felt this, this overwhelming sort of calm. You know, I, I don't know how to explain it. This place can be really stressful sometimes. And honestly, like, I just felt like all the muscles in my body just relaxing. You know, I, I felt like, I felt like something was right. I like this space because you can almost pretend like you're not on campus. So the morning I met Gilroy, it was, um, it was like a Tuesday morning and I was taking my regular stroll around the lake. I mean, there's only one way to go. It's an enclosed, you know, space. But um, yeah, I just, I saw him there sort of just floating and, and I don't know why, but I just, I had to come closer. Hey bud, got you some pine cones. You know, I asked him his name and, you know, he didn't say anything at first, or ever really, but, but I, I, I just knew, you know? Knew what? Everything. Everything about him. It's like, it's like, you know how you, when you airdrop a picture to somebody, like suddenly they have, they have the image? It's like that with Gilroy, except with, with thoughts, you know? What do we do together? I mean... What does anyone do together, you know? We just sort of sit and meditate in the space, clear our heads, relax. Sometimes we read poetry. Well, I do, and it's really nice. Dennis, that was kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he responds to me I mean just just like any friend would you know but of course he has his own way of responding you know um, it's it's very slight very subtle but um if you look for it you know exactly how he's feeling you know people pass by all the time the lake can be a pretty populated area but um, you know people see him but they don't really see him you know what I mean it's like it's like they don't even know how to, you know? But if they really just took the time to look, to really actually look, I bet they would feel exactly the way I do.